Next one, next we'll see uh, vitamins. Vitamins are what? Vitamins that means protect against disease. Vitamins protect our body against disease. Okay. So also that means vitamins plays a vital role in the growth and maintenance of our body. That means after that there are uh, some vitamins we use. Uh, in a, that means which we can get from the our food like A, C, D, E, and K and B complex. A, C, D, E, K. A, C, D, E, K and B complex. B complex that means it is combination of that means B6, B12. There are many uh, <coughs> vitamins in B complex. So that means also that means it, it helps to protect uh, that means our body from the disease. And also, uh, it uh, that means plays a vital role in growth and maintenance of our body. So there are uh, some vitamins which are that means water soluble. Some vitamins in oil and fat soluble. Vitamins like B and C. B and C vitamins easily can that means dissolve in water. But some vitamins like A, D, E, and K are that means oil soluble vitamins. So some vitamins our body can produce like vitamin D and vitamin K. Vitamin D and vitamin K only our body can produce but vitamin that means <coughs> A uh, and uh, the C, B and uh, yeah. after that we'll see that means minerals. Minerals, minerals is what that means it is also very important component because it helps our body to function well because for functioning our body in that means good manner in well manner that means we need what minerals so there are many minerals which are that is needed by our body in a very small amount uh, like zinc copper uh, and magnesium potassium all there are lots of minerals which are which are very important for our body like zinc copper magnesium potassium iodine iron fluorine there are many because every day uh, we that means drink lots of water. Why water is very important? The first thing is that water maintains, that means first thing is what? Water maintains our body temperature. So for maintaining body, our body temperatures we need, we require daily uh, adequate amount of water. Second thing is that, second thing is that what water, that means it helps in transportation of the nutrients in our body. That means how nutrients, that means uh, that means transport in our body, nutrients can be transported in our body only through water in our veins. Simple thing is that also that means water are that means uh, in our blood because for uh, blood circulations we need uh, adequate amount of water. Also our body that means two third of our body weight is due to the water. So maintaining temperature or for the transportation or third one is for the that means circulation of blood and the fourth one is what fourth one is that is excretion of the body waste if we drink water that means uh, that means water also excrete the that is dietary fiber and the roughage dietary fiber and roughage both are very essential things because dietary fiber that is retaining water in our body retaining that is maintaining water in our body for this is it is very important for constipation that means for constipation that means it is important for reducing the constipation fiber that means dietary fiber is important it is not digestible but it helps to digest the food so it helps in digestion of the food so every day we need some type of that means diet next topic is what balanced diet because balanced diet means what the adequate amount of all the components sufficient amount of all the components that is every component is at its right that is uh, percentage is known as what balanced diet so by having balanced diet taking balanced diet every day is very important because in balanced diet we can that means we can add all type of that means uh, components so adequate amount of components in the food items is known as what balanced diet in the diet is known as what balanced diet so balanced diet is very important student so 60% carbohydrate, that is fat 15% fat, protein 25% and adequate amount of vitamin, minerals, roughage and water. Is that means it constitutes the balanced diet. What does balanced diet do? Because
because if we take the balanced diet, the better functions of our body, for better functioning of our body, the balanced diet is important. For better growth, for better, better tissues repair, and for everything that is functioning well in our body, we need that is balanced diet. So it is very important part. Every day we have to take balanced diet. That means diet is what? Diet is what? Diet is that means diet that is uh, will study after that uh, deficiency disease. Deficiency disease is what? Deficiency disease is it will not take the adequate amount of protein, adequate amount of carbo, uh, carbohydrate, adequate amount of that means fat, protein. What will happen will face many type of disease. If you will not take the carbohydrate, what will happen if you not take kind of carbohydrate in adequate amount will face the carbohydrate uh, deficiency disease like lack of stamina and weakness. Lack of stamina, if you not take an adequate amount of carbohydrate, will face weakness and lack of stamina. If you not take the protein and adequate amount, what will happen? If you not take, will face, that means decoloration of hair, decoloration of hair, and that means also rough skin, diarrhea, loss of stamina, that means, uh, <coughs> uh, Marasmas, Pasiorka, different different types of diseases uh, that means uh, we have to face if you will not take an adequate amount of protein. Okay, so fat, if you will not take an adequate amount of fat, what will happen? Similar thing that means fat is also the source of energy. It gives us energy, it is energy bank. It gives us energy. So we need fat. If you will not take an adequate amount of fat, simple lack of stamina, lack of energy will face if you will not take the adequate amount of fat okay similar if you will not take adequate amount of mineral what will happen adequate amount of mineral if you will not take adequate amount of mineral that means also we have to face different type of disease called that means if you will not take uh, the adequate amount of iodine what will happen so adequate if you will not take a uh, adequate amount of iodine will have to face goiter a disease called goiter that means thyroid gland enlargement of the thyroid gland so in the right proportion what will happen will face different different types of disease if you not take the vitamin in the proper vitamin in the proper way in the adequate amount of uh, that means vitamin will face different type of diseases like white berry berry night blindness, curvy, hemorrhage, lots of that means disease we can uh